up, you guys? Thank you for joining me for another episode of the And Now We Know Show. I am your host, Johnny K, and we are on season six. I have so many guests, so many guests. It's insane. Like, you guys, tune in for all of the people that I've already interviewed. If you are just seeing me for the first time, hello. Thank you for joining me. And subscribe to my channel and go back and watch all of my talented guests. These are people like underground, on their grind, doing their thing every day, out here getting labels attention. They're just, they're on their grind. And, and I just had to document this, you guys. So thank you for joining me uh, today. I have a special guest. He is a singer, he's a rapper, he's very talented, he does a lot. So I just wanted to bring him on the show and introduce him to you guys. His name is Don Lee and we're, let's bring him on out. Hey, Don. Hey, 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 what's up? Thank you for being on. Okay, so we're sitting with Don Lee. You guys, he's a talented, super talented artist, and you're basically kind of just on your grind, just starting off right mm -hmm. now. Like, how does, uh, how would you describe your style to people that have not, you know, heard you yet? Um, well, it's funny because when I first started, like, I would get like a, a comparisons to like Mac Dre and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. like, since I like, been okay, like real versatile like and i also started doing like r and B. I i don't know i just feel like my uh, style is very unique so is there artists out right now that you would say that you sound like in your opinion um or you're one of a kind not like that i don't want to <laughs> i don't be like that but yeah I, I can't really uh can't think of anybody when white comes up to mind to be honest Okay, okay. Do you like singing or rapping both? Um, what do you like better? I guess like at heart, if I really knew how, it would be singing, you know, but I'm work it's something like that I've like learned to like, like more people tell me that they want to hear more of it. So that's why I actually came out with a tape with his full R&B. Check his <laughs> EP out. That I'll have links in the description box for that. Um, so you could check out his EP. I've always been around music growing up. Like there's a lot of people that do music in my family. So I've just always mm. been surrounded. It's always something I knew I wanted to do. So, wow. Yeah. So like is somebody in your family, did they directly inspire you to start this path? Um, Starting off, I would have to say my cousin. Uh, okay. He, Shout uh, out to your cousin. Yeah, he uh, gave me my first home studio and I was recording off of Cubase. I don't know if you know Cubase? Yeah, a lot of people don't know about Cubase. <laughs> they, they garage band and stuff like that. Yeah. But I learned how to work with it pretty well. And uh, from there, I just learned. I just taught myself. He gave it to me. And he said he's moving on to better things. So I just learned from there. And I just learned to like music more after that. I just started taking it more serious. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty incredible. I mean, you you sound really good, and you already have like a family that's musically inclined. Yeah. So like, you got the tools that you need. Who did you listen to growing up? Oh, I listen to all types from Fifty to Ludacris and Outkast. Ludacris. Like, Another person that said Ludacris. Yeah, not yet. Ludacris. A lot, a lot of people would sleep on him. He's funny. I like funny uh, rappers. And uh, like two chains. Yeah, big Wayne fan too. Wayne? Yeah, Lil, Lil Wayne. Wayne. Okay. Yeah. Everybody loves Lil Wayne. Yeah, he's crazy with the metaphor. Yeah, his metaphor game is yeah. unmatched. Nobody has matched those type of metaphors yeah. yet. Being on this journey as an artist and like trying to be a you know in the limelight. Um, sometimes when you try to have a, a significant other. Uh, they could get a little jealous because you are, you know, you found it's like you have a new love or something like that because you have this passion for something else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> how do you deal with that 
and can you give us some tips and pointers? Um, I feel like uh, the person you meet, y'all just gotta have an understanding, like, you know, what type of, like, the kind of career you're going for, like, you gotta understand what comes along with it and stuff, so, you know, if y'all just both on the same track with that, then y'all should be good. And you're in a relationship with a musician. Yeah. So, is it work better because you guys both do music? Um, or is it harder? I, you know, with like any other relationship, it's communication. Yeah. So, if y'all talk about stuff, y'all got everything, then everything should be straight. But we we know what comes with this stuff. So okay. It's something you talk about, you know, before going out and doing it. So, you guys discuss it? Yeah, like, you know, it's on, yeah, y'all. It's a time and place for everything, so I just feel like communication is key. Communicate. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely, I agree. Don't leave nobody in the blind. In that dinner, you know. Right. Everything should be straight. And if your partner has questions about stuff, you should be open to answer any questions that they have. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> there are no stupid questions in a relationship. And... Mm. <laughs> That is what that is. Yeah. And there's a lot of musicians that watch the show, so they, yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're going hey, to. Hey, <laughs> don't, you know, don't quote me on that thing. Like I said, <laughs> it's, it's your relationship. <laughs> how y'all deal with it, how y'all deal with it. <laughs> if y'all mess with each other, you know, just communicate and everything, you know, it should be all right. I like don't that. Quote me on that I like that. That was clean. Mm -hmm. That was perfect. That's. <laughs> Yes. So now, next, I want to ask you, what's your favorite topic to talk about in your music? Um. Well, usually I talk about what I can relate to, or if I ain't done it yet, what I want to do. You know, always manifest. You know, stuff. But um, mostly it just be about like, I guess the love or whatever. Oh. Lately, lately okay. but it depends on like what uh like John like category I'm going for or whatever but in general I rap like about love and stuff like that if you weren't singing what would you do what would um, you be doing with your life uh, I wanted to get into real estate and stuff like uh, wow you know selling houses yeah uh, or like just being able to like sign off on stuff like I don't know. It's something I really was trying to look into, though. Know, but real estate, really, is something I found interesting. Now, can you give us some, leave us with some words of motivation to the people that are watching you right now? Um, can you let them know what they can expect on this journey? Give them some tips and pointers. So stay focused on your uh, craft. You know, perfect it, and whatever you go for, manifest it. It, it shall be yours. You know? Hey, I like that. I like that a lot. Don Lee, y'all. I mean, and now we know Don Lee. He knows what he's talking about. He got a lot of great things in the works and coming out. He is just now starting on his journey. Trust me. You want to check out the links down below. Everything we talked about today, all of his music, everything he does right now is in the description box. Um, his Instagram page, everything. Yeah. Can you shout out your social media for us? Oh, yeah. So the IG is love Don Lee, L-U-B Don Lee. And then, uh, you know, uh, Apple Music, Don Lee, everything. Everything is Love Don Lee. <laughs> love Don Lee, you guys. And what's the name of your EP? Uh, the EP is actually Love Lee, L U V L E E. L U V Love. Okay. All right, you guys. Check them out. Check them out. All of that is in the description box below. Uh, definitely um, DM him any questions you have. If you want to get a feature with him, just hit him up. He's a dope guy. Let him know that Johnny K sent you and he'll negotiate something with you. Yeah. All right. So that's it for the show. Subscribe. Leave me comments. Like this video. Share it. And we will see you guys next week. Promise we gon' get it right, we gon' get it right Might wanna back a hit, you gon' miss your flight Let me put you on something you ain't used to Double dick or no train like Cho Cho